Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thank you for being part of it. Today, we are going to go ahead and take the driver's door off the vehicle, and we're going to gut it completely down, make it into a shell, uh, because I'm going to be sanding, painting it, putting new door scrapers in, rebuilding the vent wing, so lots to do. I've got to order those parts, uh, which I'll be doing shortly, uh, but I'm going to do the door latch mechanism and show how to clean and oil it. One of our community members couldn't get his door open, it froze. Another guy couldn't get his door to shut because the jaws on it had froze. So I did promise I would go ahead and do a video, you know, on that, showing how to take the mechanism apart, you know, out of the door, clean it properly, and what lubricant to use so you don't run into that problem. Uh, when I do go to rebuild the vent wing and put new door scrapers in, I'm sorry, window scrapers in, and do everything, all the new stuff inside the door, I will show everything, you know, as you know. So, uh, okay, so let's get on it today. Thanks for being part of the community. Thank you all for the donations. I appreciate it. A lot of you folks have dropped down in the description and clicked the donation link, and I appreciate that more than words could describe. Okay, let's get on it. Okay, first things first, uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove the door. If I look a little silly with this contraption, I'm going to try when I'm working over top of the door to take the GoPro and aim it at what I'm doing. So it's almost like you doing the job. I'll do the best I can with it. So first we're gonna get a number four Phillips. You can see how big that is, okay? That is a number four Phillips. That's what fits these screws on the door. So let's go ahead and do that first. Okay, now there's a couple screws missing from each one because I've had this off before. Uh, this is a number four. It is very big and as you can see it fits perfectly in the slot because if you use a smaller one you're going to end up with an issue. I'll show you something that you can use if they're too tight. Now this here is an impact driver. Uh, this is an older one if you see Champion on it. This thing was from my dad's garage like 40 years ago, believe it or not, still works great. I believe they made tools better then. If in fact you have the screws and it's very, very difficult to break them loose, do two things. Lift your trunk open, go down inside and spray PB Blast on the back of the threads of the screws. If I could find my old film clip, I'll show you a brief snip right here. And you're gonna take the large Phillips. Okay, that almost does look like number four. You're going to put it in the tip of this and you're going to smack it and it will break them loose. I've always had a lot of luck with these. So that's what you'll do there. So we are now going to go ahead and take our screws loose. Mine are obviously going to <clears throat> loosen up pretty easy. Now once you uh, do get these off, okay, you're going to want to go ahead and put the anti-seize on them after you clean the threads up properly. And then you won't have to worry again. Ooh. Okay, now you see how that slides in and out. That's how you start adjusting the door when you need to. Okay, so let me take these out. Now don't lose these, okay? Take a little pressure off. I pull out slightly on it like that. Yeah, don't lose them. Okay, go to the top. Now, truthfully, you probably should have a floor jack with a piece of wood underneath the door to hold it up, but do that yourself. I didn't do it. If my paint was nicer, I probably would. But I'm gonna hold it, loop my arm through the window. And that's why my body's in bad shape. Okay. And we're gonna take it out. I put my shoulder through here and... Why is it sticking? <sighs> Look what I forgot to disconnect. Really? You think I'd know better by now? OK, 
Okay, the first thing we're going to do is remove the door panel. You see me do that in the last video with the window mechanism, so sorry to repeat it, but some folks just are new here and didn't see all of my other videos. So the window winder was already off on this. It's just a Phillips screw like you'd seen in the prior video. And we're going to go ahead and take this off. Just pretty much. Oh, well, wasn't that easy. <laughs> Now what you're doing when this is on as you're prying this off of there. Okay, because I had this apart already. And there's a Phillips screw here and that comes off. Okay, we are pretending like there's nice paint because a lot of you do have nice paint already. So I'm using a plastic trim pry tool and you can buy them on Amazon or anywhere you want to. I don't do affiliate stuff. You guys don't need to be paying me to buy tools unless you want to. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get it underneath here. Sometimes it can be a little tricky at first. So I sneak in here. Okay. Did you hear that pop? run along here okay now these are all going to be same with these little witches hats and clips get close to the clip though so that here like here's a clip here's a clip here if not you can rip the cardboard so that's all it really is on the door panel there we go just be gentle don't don't rip at it show you what it's made of although 99% of you probably already know but if there's that 1% that don't know it's worth showing okay let me go down here Alrighty. almost around there Take your time. There we go. All right. These are all loose. Make sure you check it all the way around. 68 and up with this year specifically, you're going to push up on it. And I'll show you why. If you can see, there's a bar here, okay? And it slides down onto this hook. That should make sense, pretty easy. So one thing I'm gonna do off the horses is remove the handle because this is laying down on the horses. Now, a lot of you are gonna be doing this on your car, which is fine, okay? But I'm doing it differently because I'm gonna be gutting the whole door. So we gotta remove this handle and I'm gonna show you something very important here about oiling. So you want coming closer? Now you have a screw right here, okay? So if your seal's in the way, just pull it back a little. Alrighty. Remember, use that impact I showed you if you need to go ahead, watch my head here, and uh, bust it loose, okay? So that's off. Oops. Now there's another screw. Let me pull this out of the way. See that? Because what I just did, and I'll show you in a minute what I did wrong. Okay, see that behind here? Okay. And it came out. What I did wrong, because we make mistakes, we're human. I took the screw out. <laughs> for the latch, I believe. This one screw here is what holds this on, okay? So let's go ahead and move a little further. Now, for some of you that don't know, there's just a hook on the end of it, okay? And when you put it in here and push forward, it holds this on because it hooks into the hole in the metal, okay? And then you put your screw in the front. Now here is something that nobody brings up that I'm aware of. Right here, 
Do you see that little plastic plug here? Right there. It's above the latch. This is from the factory, and you can buy a new one if it breaks. It's just a little piece of plastic. You pull that off with a pair of needle nose and squirt oil inside of there, and it helps la the latch assembly become oiled without removing anything. Now, it's not foolproof, obviously. Once in a while, you're going to have to do what I'm doing and take it completely apart. However, that is what that's for, okay? There's some old... <laughs> stickers here. Wished I could read them, but it is what it is. There was an old, somebody used Champion plugs in it and put the numbers on it. Last time this car was inspected was 1976, so it's been off the road for a while, but just so you know about that plastic plug. Right. Okay. Now, this plastic you need to take off gently so you can reuse it. Now, this obviously is original. It's been on here forever and ever. I'm going to be easy getting it off. Now some of you with the early models, 67 and back, might be slightly different, but you'll get the idea. Especially with the latch mechanism. Just be easy on this because you can go ahead and reuse it. And if not, you'll have, some, have a nice template to go ahead and make a new one up out of maybe a heavy mill plastic compared to what came from factory. Oh. Don't forget your spring. That goes behind the window winder. I'm probably going to opt out from the original, but I'm going to use this to cut and trace and do a heavier mill plastic in there. It's all what you want to do. So see, it came off nice and gentle, and we'll go ahead and either reuse it or put heavier on. Okay, give me one second. What I'm going to do next is we're going to remove this felt, take a screw out of here, Loosen a bolt that holds this vent wing in, and we're going to pull it out of the way, and here's why. Your regulator goes up and around. The vent wing bar comes down, okay, and here's the bolt for the vent wing that holds it in place. It will block the regulator from coming out, so we're going to go ahead and take that apart first. What I'm going to do is take a screwdriver, use a plastic pry tool if you have good paint. i got to repaint this door. Try to stay out of your way here. There's clips holding the felt in, and there's one there. I'll show you these once I get this all apart, okay? Let me get another one loose. Okay. And don't worry, I will show you stuff up close. I always do. Okay. So, if you can see up inside of there, there is a Phillips screw. Okay, before I get in your way, do you see the Phillips screw? And right there. Okay, let me back up a little. We're going to go ahead and break that loose. So, there's my big old head. Okay, I'm going to do something, and you don't have to. I always take a small hammer and give it a little tap to seat the screwdriver. Eight. I could tell. And I think it's coming loose. Yep. Okay. Trying not to drop it. Okay. There's a little Phillips screw and a washer. All right. Okay, we are going to remove this 10 millimeter bolt here because this rod goes down and holds it into place, the vent wing. Alrighty. I know I say all right, okay. I know I say that a lot. 
you have to deal with it. So screws out, bolts out. There's nothing holding the vent wing except a little bit of stubbornness maybe. Okay, so that's loose. That's out of the way. What I'm going to do next is loosen up the regulator. Okay, so first we can go ahead and loosen the bolts to the window. Should I say the glass? Whatever you prefer to call it is up to you. Everybody jumps your butt these days if you word one thing wrong. It's hilarious. Okay. One here. I'm going to show you some very important things so you don't end up with rattles and squeaks and aggravation. We'll go over a lot of stuff. Disconnect your window winder. Okay. And always remember why you have everything apart. Always check everything for some rust inside or anything that you might need to do, you know. Okay, and you can see your window track comes up there. Okay. Don't lose your washers, all right? Try to keep the bolts organized to a point. All right, that's nice and loose. Let's see if we can slide the glass out without breaking it. Hold this out, okay? Just like this. You don't want it scratching your glass. There you go, let me set this aside. We have to get the vent wing out of the way. That's what holds that regulator from coming out. Let me see if it'll move past there. Yes, it did. Let's get the regulator out. Okay. Now, one thing to note, there's little foam blocks on the regulator. Now, if you lose these, you, they're just a piece of foam, okay? But it keeps it from rattling against the door. So make sure you save these or buy new. Uh, I'm not going to do this again with doing the window tracking. You can see my video uh, for doing that. I have a separate video. And that'll teach you how to take this completely apart and lube it properly so they move like a brand new car. Next is this felt track that the glass slides on. Take this bolt off. It's a 10 millimeter. I'm going to clean that bolt up. That's been on her a long time. A very, very long time. A lot of rust coming out. We're going to have to treat the inside of that door at the bottom. Okay, like I said, don't get these bolts all mixed up, okay? Move the vent wing out of the way. All right. And do you see this screw here? This holds your trim in, okay? Let me get in your way for a second. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. Remember, some of these screws have been in there for 50 years. They're going to be a little stubborn. It's a little baby one. Okay. Now, if you have any clips left in here, and I'll show you what I mean, like this, okay, you got to get them out of there. So, take a screwdriver and give them a tap. I'll show you up close what they look like. See how they slide into the trim? like that, and then the felt goes up inside. Okay, so you gotta get them out of there. That one's still connected. There's one there. Okay. Mm. Okay, we're going to take this out. Remember, you took the bolt loose here. Let's 
clip it up in here. I was going to try to sneak the felt down. I don't know if it'll let me. What we're going to do next, we are going to go ahead and remove this latch. Now, if you recall earlier in the video, I removed the front screw already. Now, you have a screw right here, okay? So, if your seal's in the way, just pull it back a little. Alrighty. Remember, use that impact I showed you if you need to go ahead, watch my head here, and uh, bust it loose, okay? So that's off. Yeah, that's to the latch. So, we're going to go ahead and move the seal out of the way so I can get the third one. You have one here. You're going to take that off. Okay. So let's get this latch. Okay. It's 10 millimeter. I'd like to polish all this up. Even if it has a mild patina to it, I don't care. I just want it to keep from buying more things. And it isn't even that. You want the good solid German stuff that was on. Okay. I come on. This bar or the piece of metal was hanging up on a rod. So let's pull this out. Come on. Take your time and feed it slow. Okay, let's go over this a second. Now, if there's nothing wrong with your felt, which there's not with mine, you don't want to go ahead and replace that. But we're going to take this apart and I'll show you. This here has got rust on it and everything. So I'm going to end up taking this all out of the tracking. We're going to scrub the felt with a fine brush. We'll do this for when we're reassembling, okay? We're going to clean the felt up and restore it very nicely because mine's not cracked at all. But we're going to sand this all down, wire wheel it, clean it up, hit it with some uh, poor 15 rust bullet, whatever you want to use on it, and it'll restore this to like brand new. I'll show when I'm restoring the felt and everything. Just leave it in the comments if you want to see it, how to restore the felt properly. That good German stuff's like new. We want to make this as nice as we possibly can. Now here's our latch assembly. Okay, I'm going to bring you in close. Okay, so this here, you're just going to lift off and slide back. Okay. And this is the lock, your knob you pull up and down. You can just slide that out. We're going to go over this in a second. And I want to show you something else. Obviously, is the rod has this felt. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's like carpet padding almost behind here. That's so this don't, whoops, I'm going to pull it off right now, rattle against your door when you're driving. Okay. And also, there was foam all around this to keep the wind, rattle, squeaks, and noises out. So make sure you replace all this stuff if needed, okay? Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take the window scrapers out. So let me bring the camera around first to use a plastic pry tool for you, those with nice paint. You're gonna pop the clips off, and I'll show you in a second here. This is the outer scraper. Okay, we're stopping right there. I want to show you something. The new factory clips don't seem to hold as well, so you may need to manangle the new ones a little bit. I thought these would squeeze in there. I'll check the outer one. I don't know if I have the room yet to take this out. I should, and I do. There you go. It was holding me up. 
it was hitting. So when I got the outer scraper off, it came out a lot easier. So window vent wing is out. When the vent wing is sliding out of here, it's hitting this, okay? And that's why I needed to pull it back a little up. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here is the tab on here. That's what goes down inside the door and bolts up in it, okay? This actually, let me get it back in so you can see what was going on, okay? This was coming over and hitting this lip, okay? So you need to pull towards the back of the car a little and then it'll come out. So I hope that certainly made sense. Now we need to get the outer scraper off. And this trim is already disconnected. See how we took the screw out. So that's disconnected, okay? And also down in here, there are clips. And it's these kind. Make sure they are all out of there going down your felt track, okay? So we're gonna go down here and we're going to, because we're replacing these, if mine bend a little, I'm not gonna be upset. There's clips holding them on. Hear them breaking loose. Now, if you're trying to save yours, don't do what I'm doing. Be easy with a plastic pry tool, okay? I'm putting all new on. Mine are rusted and shot. So those are off, I believe. Yeah, they are. So we're gonna take, ooh, mine are real bad. Yeek. Wow, that's a good way to scratch the glass up. Look how rusty mine are. They're bad. But we're getting all new, so it's fine. Make sure you buy good quality ones or you'll be really upset. All right. These are the ones I was talking about. These clips, save these clips. They squeeze and come out. Put them aside because the new ones, they're almost impossible to get into the metal. So let's see what we're dealing with rust wise. Okay, not too bad. All right. I'll have to get in there with my Dremel. Clean that all up, spray it with some acid and get it primed and painted. But we're gonna go ahead and paint the door, take the seal off. The seal just pulls off. I don't need to show you that. Let's take a look at the latch mechanism. The bath towel behind here so that, you know, it don't, everything else don't obstruct it. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> I bought her new ones because we all remember what happened when I got caught. All here. And, and that's why I had to get new bath towels. Because you took, keep taking them and bring them up the garage. And you said, oh, I don't know where they went. But it's okay now. Everything's good. She got to spend money. Okay. These are all technically close to being the same. And I know some butt face is going to say in the comments, that's different than mine. Okay. They all work relatively the same. And I'm just trying to teach you something. Okay. So when a door closes... It goes like that, okay? And when you pull your lever, okay, in the car, when you pull your handle, bonk, it opens. So what you want to do, and I, I'll do it with you, we'll go ahead and clean this assembly up real good and lubricate it, and you're going to ha have to worry for years to come, so that's the great thing. Let's get some stuff ready. Okay, first of all, I have two brushes here. I have the soft bristle, and I have a brass brush. Don't use nothing too harsh, okay? A little bit of brake clean. I'm just gonna scrub it up. We can put new foam in there. I'm not worried about that right now. Okay, I'm gonna show you the back of it in a minute. I'm just getting this cleaned up first. Okay. We'll be greasing all that back up. This is why people's doors get stuck because they never take care of anything. You can see here. Yeah, this side's really nasty. And when I talked about that little plug, you pull out of the door, if you drip oil in the hole of that door, it comes down all through here and it will lubricate that, okay? Now I'm gonna try to stay out of your way the best that I possibly can, but there is a lot of crud on here. 
Okay, I'm gonna use the brass brush. Watch with that little spring, don't break it. Don't act like a cowboy. Coming out of the gate, be easy. Lots of crud. Wow. You can buy these little three-piece brush kits at the dollar stores, okay? Let me take this off of here. Come on. Remember, some of this stuff has been on there forever. This just comes out. There's your little clip. Don't lose that. You already know that. Let me get all of this cleaned up. Wow, this is bad. Woo. Okay, let's turn it back around. That's pretty clean. So what we have here, here's your button that goes up and down to lock. Okay, when your door's shut, you pull the handle and that rod pops it open, okay? If that is pulled, okay, then of course it's locked, okay? The latch is actually upside down, there we go. Now, what we're gonna do now, since we cleaned it up, we're gonna go ahead, now you can polish it or do whatever, but I think it's kind of a waste of time back here. Or you can take some uh, triple O steel wool and clean this all up to get the heavy crud off. I'm just doing a video to show you it's real quick what you do. So we're gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna show you what lubricants you can use. So we have two lubricants here so everybody can start fighting like you do with oil. Uh, here's white lithium grease, CRC. This is preferred by many, okay? And anywhere you read online, that's what people like to use is the white lithium grease. Also, we have CRC's dry PTFE lube. It's a dry lubricant, okay, that doesn't let oil or dust cling to it. So you can use either one that you like, just for demonstration purposes. I use the white lithium so nobody gets upset. Uh, I do like the dry PTFE though. So let's go ahead and do the white lithium grease. Shake this up a little. Spray it real good inside of there. Okay, I'm going to work it. My hands are slipping <laughs> on it. Okay. Alrighty. So this is the back. That's in the closed position of the door. Okay. Where'd my little tang go? Oh, there it is. Sorry. I'm slipping on here because of the grease. Now that's what it should do. It should move very, very smooth. Okay. Just so you know what it looks like. This is the dry PTFE lube and it does go on dry. You can't really see it now, but all you gotta do is keep working this back and forth. It's moving really smooth. Okay, let's move it the other way so you can see it. I'm gonna do one more spray in the jaws themselves. That's what I call them. Okay, so wow, is that smooth now? Ooh, like butter. Okay, everything is lubricated, nice and clean. We used the white lithium grease, and so nobody cried. And like I said, if you want, you can use the dry PTFE lube, okay? I've used it in the past and really liked it. It's not cheap, though. All right, one more thing, the door handle. Let's go over that real quick, and then I'll leave you guys go for the day. So now we have our door handle here, okay? A lot of people like to poke their little red nozzles in here and squirt it with PB Blast. Don't do that, okay? In your tumblers, you want to use what you see here. You want graphite, okay, I didn't have any on hand, I used it uh, last time around. You want to go ahead and use a graphite spray and get inside the tumblers and keep working everything back and forth. I wanted to throw that in there.
All right, I hope that was helpful to some folks, especially the latch mechanism. A lot of people were talking online about there's freezing up, galding up, blah, blah, blah. That's the way to do it, and you'll be happy for a long time. I showed you the plug on the door where you can pull that out and drip some oil down through there to help it. Now remember, when you do that one too many times over 30 years, it'll gunk up like you've seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and order the stuff to redo the vent wings, the door scrapers. In the meantime, I'm gonna treat that door properly inside for rust and go ahead and paint the inside of the door real nice and we'll go over everything together. You know, we'll put the uh, window scrapers in together, we'll rebuild the vent wings together. If my need does, I have to check, they may be okay, but I'll make sure before I order. And we'll reassemble everything. Uh, I don't believe that's gonna be next week's video because I need to go ahead and get some other stuff done and I can't have the parts that quick, money adds up. Next week, hopefully, I may be doing an interview on a gentleman that lives about an hour from me and we're gonna interview him with his 1992, I believe it was, I can't remember, Mexican Beetle. So it'll be great to meet him. We'll go over the whole car and talk about a lot. It'll be a lot of fun. And hopefully also I'll be doing an interview on somebody with a 1971 Volkswagen bus. I believe that's a one year only, like a 67 Beetle. Uh, we may be doing that next week also. So we got a lot of great stuff coming up, plus doing the DIYs on the 68 while we're reassembling. If you made it this far in the video, you're part of the community. Say number one in the comments. And I'll know you watched the whole video. <laughs> All right, we need to do a giveaway soon. I gotta think of something to give away. We'll do a little raffle and we'll give something away. I'll see you next week and I'll see you Sunday night for the live chat.